need for question. So we've learned from Mira that there are important trade-offs in uh, the allocation and aid for mitigation. And I'm going to have to inform Mira that there's also trade-off in the way you've allocated your time. Therefore, we only have five minutes left for question rather than ten. Uh, all right, so please shoot uh, at her and uh, we'll, we'll take uh, probably uh, one from this side, one from this side, and, and we'll take it from there. Question over there, please. Um, I just have two quick questions. One is, uh, I don't know if I heard you correctly, but did you say that the highest emitters are the poorest countries? No, it's exactly the opposite. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> just one. That's why, that's why our topic is, I mean, instead of uh, LDC, we actually use the concept of, uh, of least carbon emitting countries. Okay, <laughs> that are the right. The other little question is, um, um, what was it? Yeah, um, do you have any quantification of what you are saying as regards, for example, uh, mitigation measures, let's say to Cambodia, which you highlighted, but do you have any quantification of the emissions from Cambodia in relation to what you should mitigate? So, for example, what are the main emissions uh, originating from in Cambodia? It couldn't be traffic, for instance, you know. So, and then accordingly, the mitigation assistance should be given to, to try and solve those specific critical problems, it seems to me. So a quantification would be one way to go about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and we have in, 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 in our um, report and I, I think in our paper also, also more, more numbers, but uh, I don't have them here in my, in my presentation, so, so I don't exactly uh, remember now. But of course in the both countries, uh, well, if you then look not only energy but also the forest sector. So clearly, the forest sector is is is, is more Im important in, in in terms of of um, uh, emissions. But of course, uh, clearly in both countries, there's a need for for um, not maybe mitigating the the current emissions that much, but more assistance for for truly supporting so that uh, the the future pathway for uh, low carbon development. And, and so that there wouldn't be lock-ins for, for uh, high carbon solutions and, and, and so forth. But, uh, well, currently, um, yes, well, the forest sector is, is, is more important in terms of emissions. In Thank you, uh, Mira. One question, perhaps, uh, over here. My name is Elizabeth Remedio from the University of San Carlos. I have two questions actually. The first one is, has to do with, you mentioned something about donors have self-interest, for example, technology. May I ask what is the method of exploring and discovering that donors have uh, this self-interest? The second question is, uh, you also mentioned that aid often better spent if it is directly channeled to, for example, a sustainable develop, uh, renewable energy and so on. So the question is that uh, what are therefore the constraints? Why is it that aid cannot be directly channeled to probably the, uh, the direct ben beneficiaries? So what are the factors that uh, impede such uh, direct uh, giving of uh, aid? Thank you. Because this is a, uh, we are running a, a little bit out of time, that will be the last uh, question. Okay. Okay, yes, uh, the donor self-interest is very difficult to study, of course, and, and, um, and in this case that I was referring to it, it was more based on literature uh, review, but we, we tried to also in our study when we are doing the interviews and so on to touch upon this issue, and, and, and we also discussed with the different officials in, in the, in the Cambodian and, and Lao ministries on, on this and, and, and they actually, well, it's a very sensitive issue also, so it's not easily to be uh, presented later on as well, but there were these kind of concerns uh, uh, pre present and, 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 and so on, but in, this, in, in the cases of these uh, two, two countries, it maybe not had materialized in the extent that in, in some other countries where there have been studies on, on, on this respect. Um, and then, well, um, ODA for, for the direct beneficiaries. 
Well, yes, it's a, it's a good question, and that's something that we are, we are also kind of uh, suggesting here, that, that if, uh, if uh, mitigation targets are integrated to, to ODA and there is no truly new and additional climate finance, so, so this should be maybe the area that, that would uh, could be more uh, supported. Yes.